Okay. In the last session, we have discussed on introduction to the AHP protocol and block diagram of AHP protocol. What are the different blocks involved like master, slave, decoder, multiplexer, and uh, what are the different signals at the master side and what are the different signals at slave side and how decoder will work and how multiplexer will work. Okay, these are the basic things we have seen. And what are the different versions of AMBA, right? Uh, so today we will start with AXI transfers. Okay, AXI transfers is one of the very important thing in interview point of view. Okay, so mostly how the burst operation is working and what are the different transfers in the burst, like how will take the size okay in terms of beats or how many transfers or in burst also we have two types of burst like increment or wrapper okay and what are the different types of transfers like simple transfer or lock transfer how we will use and like weighted transfers okay at the master side coming to the slave side we'll have the responses right the okay response uh, error response slave error response and split transactions uh, the split transfers and the retry these are for slave side so in the next session we will see on the slave side today we'll see on the x side transfers okay what are the different type of transfers and how each will work okay mainly you need to understand the waveforms okay whatever we are seeing the waveforms now these waveforms we are going to implement while writing the program okay so you need to observe the waveforms uh, more, mainly okay so if you if you are having any doubts so you can ask your doubts in the session okay so we'll start now okay so first yeah. Yes. transfer. So it is related to we also it will follow the same. Uh sorry. Is it for the AHB or AXI you are starting? This is for AHB. AXI have different uh, both are similar only. Some transactions okay. will be different. This is for only AHB. Ah, that's title was okay. AXI transfer. That's the one. Yeah. Uh, no, not for AXI. This is for AHB. Okay, once uh, AHB completed, mostly it will take uh, next uh, session. In the next uh, session, we will complete and we'll see on uh, AHB to a ABB to AHB bridge. Uh, once ABB to AHB bridge completed, then we'll start the AXI, mostly one or two sessions. Uh, after right. AXI specification, we'll move to the UVM uh, VIP, AXI VIP. Okay, so that is the... Um, Title was AXA, that's your slide title was AXA. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry, it's not AXA, it's a AHP. Okay. Okay. First is a type of transfers. Like while we are doing transfer, okay, master we have the transfer, master do the transfers, right? Uh, it have the control and data transfers. So what are the different type of transfers? H trans indicates the type of transfer, okay? H trans is the signal. Uh, it's a two bit signal, okay? Two bit means we already know four combinations will be there. Okay, so for each combination, there is a different transfer. Okay, for 0, 0, it is an ideal. Ideal means it indicates a new transfer. That means in the ideal case, no data is transferred from the master to the slave. Okay, it is just like an ideal. No transfer will be done. Okay, and uh, when the master is, uh, it, it is used when the master is granted, whenever it doesn't do, it doesn't want to do any transfer, then we can use simply it is a ideal. Okay, then automatically based upon the transaction, uh, the slave doesn't uh, have any uh, data. Okay, so the then slave will uh, provide just uh, it doesn't provide any weight state it is a zero weight state and it will provide the okay response slave will not get any transfer that means any data okay ideal means uh, and no transfer okay 
So uh, just it will give the OK response to ideal transfer and the transfer will be ignored by the slave. That is mean by ideal. Next one, zero, 01. Zero, 01 means a busy transfer. Okay, so busy transfer means it uh, enables the master to insert the ideal cycles in the middle of the bus like the uh, it, uh, a busy in the sense the master is doing some operation okay uh, whatever it is doing some uh, transfer before that that was not completed okay it needs some other some time okay for next cycle also it needs some time to do the previous transfer whatever previous cycle transfer is there to to complete that it needs some time so uh, the master is indicating as a busy, okay? So that a uh, slave will not get any data. Slave will provide the zero wait state and okay response, okay? That is one busy state. And a uh, slave uh, will transfer like uh, same, same as ideal, slave will ignore this one, okay? And next one is the non-sequencer. Non-sequence means it will indicate a single transfer or the first transfer of the burst, okay? And whatever the address and the control signals are unrelated to the previous transfer, okay? What is meant by unrelated to the previous transfer? Because uh, 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 means here we are transferring in terms of burst, in terms of beats or in terms of size. Okay, so size matter, like wherever it is a wrap or it is an increment manner, uh, the sequence or non-sequence matter. Okay, sequence in the sense, it will increment plus four or plus eight for every transaction. Suppose if you take four beats, four beats in the sense, four number of transaction. Okay, four number of transaction means uh, for every transfer, it will increment plus four plus four plus four okay this is the sequence okay here sequence one one non-sequence means uh it, it doesn't have the uh, sequence like this okay any address any data can take any data can transfer okay it doesn't follow the previous transfer that is the difference have you understood yes ma'am so single transfers on the bars are treated as bars of the length and therefore the transfer type is the non-sequential type. Okay, sequential is nothing but it is related to the, uh, that address is related to the previous transfer based on that whatever we are taking, the bars length like four or eight, it will do the increment accordingly in a sequential manner. Okay, next type of transfers like whatever we have seen now non-sequence or busy or sequence now we'll see here uh, first transfer as it is mentioned before the first transfer if it want to take it can take the non-sequence it can start with the non-sequence or it can start with the ideal or busy whatever mostly non-sequence is the first uh, uh, for the first transfer okay so non-sequence in the sense here, it, it have taken address as a 20. Okay, next one is the busy. Busy, why busy? Busy means it is in some other transfer. T1 to T2 is the master cannot perform uh, the second beat. Second beat in the sense here, beats means transfers. It cannot perform the second transfer. Okay, so it has inserted the busy transfer so that it may it can make some delay okay it can make some delay and it can continue its own transfer whatever its operation is there it can continue to that okay so it's a busy and address is 0 into 24 next is the sequence uh, sequence transaction okay so here the uh, master is now ready to send the uh, transfer uh, that is a sequence transfer okay and the master ignore if any data that the slave is providing, uh, it will ignore. Okay, this is the sequencer. And next also sequence. And next also sequence. If you see the sequence 24, 
24 after 28. That means it is doing a 4 plus 4 increment. Then here also 2C. 2C means again plus 4 increment. That is how sequential manner. Okay. So these are the different transfers. We have non-sequence, busy, sequence and ideal. So if you observe the output, um, here burst, burst is the increment. We have two types, wrap and increment. We'll see the difference, both difference by end of the session. And H ready, you know what is meant by H ready. If H ready is high, it, it is not in a wait state. We, uh, the read uh, H or data can read the data. If it is a low, it, the transaction must be in wait state, right? So non-sequence, first one is the address phase. Okay, we have mainly two phases in the AHB. Can you tell what are the two phases in the AHB? Uh, address phase and data phase. Address phase in uh, address phase and the data uh, data phase. Whenever the transaction is in uh, uh, starting the transaction, first uh, state is the address phase. For, so this is the address uh, phase. Okay. So here uh, H clock uh, uh, will be uh, indicated. Okay. Uh, like uh, for every positive edge of the clock, uh, this first phase is the address phase. Then next one is the data phase. In the data phase, uh, the slave is uh, ready to uh, read the data. Okay, so those are the two phases. So in the second phase here, uh, the slave is ready to read the data, HR data. So whatever 20 is there, that data is reading here. And here, 24. Um, and next, uh, as uh, here it is a uh, busy, next sequence is 24. Uh, here, uh, the, uh, this is a busy state. Uh, this is not going to be read. This sequence data is reading here. And 28 need to be read here. But because of wait state here, H ready is low. Because of low, uh, in the next cycle, it is reading. Okay, data uh, data can be one or two cycles, but address must be single cycle. Okay, next in the next cycle, uh, this 0 to C, that data will be read here. Okay, so these are the different types of transfers. Everyone understood? Types of transfer, what is mean by non-sequence? What is mean by sequence? busy and ideal any doubts please respond quickly Adam, uh, for data i said it why it is taking one clock cycle more why uh, it is there this uh, for X20, that uh, X20 non sequence first address, it is taking one more clock cycle. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, so the data was uh, sample at T2, right? Yeah. So at T2 only, the data will be present, right? Here but only. At, at uh, that is a negative edge. I think that it, uh, that is not the point where we will sample it. Uh, this uh, AHP will work on positive edge only, right, ma'am? Uh, AHP will work at the positive edge only, but uh, that is for address. Okay. Okay. Uh, here, uh, here it is a sampling at the second clock cycle only. Right. T1, uh, T2 here. Yeah, yeah, okay, ma okay, okay. Address was sample at T1, uh, and uh, data will be there. Will be HR data will be there. At T2. Okay. Yes. I, I was confused. I was confused. Sir. Okay. Uh, is there any other doubts? Okay. Next one is the transfer size. So when we are transferring any uh, data, 
the size is also important okay whether it is a 8 bit size or 16 bit or 32 bit like that we need to check the size while we are transferring in terms of burst okay so uh, here we have the uh, signal like h size which is a 3 bit size okay and this is the uh, this uh, this is the encoding of the transfer size okay if you see size um, uh, the 3 bit if it is 000, then it indicate 8 bit size. 001, 16 bit. 010, 32 bit, like that. Okay. So, based on that, for example, if you are transferring 16 bit size, okay, then it must use the values like 000, 000, and 001. Okay. So, that is what. Yeah, it 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 should use okay when you are uh, doing using the H burst okay it will determine the uh for wrapping burst or for uh, uh, for incrementing burst it will determine okay H size is required so H size uh, um mostly it, it remains the it remains constant throughout every burst transfer okay. So that is what H size based on that uh, you will make the transfers. Okay, once we move to the burst transfer, then you will see different types of uh, sizes. Okay, like uh, eight transfer, four transfers like that. First, we'll see a simple huh? transfer. Yes, Jen. Uh, so ma'am, uh, this uh, H size will do, uh, differentiate. I mean, uh, will differ. Based on that, uh, for uh, there's a red bus, yes, or red bus? H size, size H of that. Size. Mm -hmm. So, it actually, it is a 32 bit. So, based on the H size, we can vary the size of that. That's what it means. Uh, yes, H size is very uh, you see in the burst transfer, it will have the single transfers or uh, uh, four bit transfer or uh, eight bit transfer, 16 bit transfer. That time the size will be uh, varying. Okay. Okay, so by changing this H size, we can vary this uh, uh, read, read bus and uh, write bus. Yes. That works. Okay. Okay. Um, next, coming to the simple transfers of um, AHB, uh, first we'll see the read and write transfers. So, you already know what are the different phases, address phase and data phase. So address phase, in single cycle, the master drives the address and the control signals, okay? Um, and it indicates the direction and width of the transfer, how much width. And it transfer forms part of a burst, okay? Each addr address cor correspond to the one byte data, byte addressable. And data phase. Data phase means two or more cycles. Suppose master is in busy transfer, then it requires two cycles, right? So a uh, data phase can have one or more cycles, which is controlled by the HREADY. If HREADY is low, then also it requires two cycles. Okay, based upon that, it will be uh, it will be vary. And the slave sample and process the data. And address phase and data phase of different transactions are overlap for all transactions it not be same okay for each transaction it will be changed right next write or read transfer so how the write transfer and read transfer like same as the ahb in ahb we have the three uh, phases right uh, uh, ideal setup and access phase uh, so same like uh, we have the address phase and data phase here okay so h study uh, in the address phase, some data, some address A is uh, transferring and H write is high. So what if H write is high, is it write operation or read operation? Right. Write operation. If, if H is high, then it is a write operation. Okay, so here H write data, whatever H write data is there, that data is going to be right in the data phase and coming to the uh, read transfer h uh, read data so h data is going to read here whenever h write is uh, uh, low uh, here h write is low so here read data okay these are the 
to transfers. Okay, so everyone understood. Oh, same doubt, same doubt. I also got it. Like read data is happened in the negative edge, right? Yeah. Uh, read data happened in the negative edge. Uh, here, uh, why? Because uh, see, uh, in the same data phase, uh, the data is transferring from the right side. Okay. Okay. Once the data has transferred from the right side, then uh, at the read side. It is reading the data here. See, without transferring the data, uh, read cannot perform, right? So once uh, here okay. write is completed, once write data is completed, then here it is reading the data. So that means data okay. can be occurred in the negative edge. Oh, what? It is happening in the negative edge, ma'am, or it is available for the next step. Whatever, uh, whatever uh, the data has transmitted from the right after the next edge, the data will uh, the read data will read the data. The next the edge ne is positive. Or um, next to positive, yes, next to rising edge only. Next to positive edge only. Mm -hmm. But here, the same phase it is happening, read data. Because uh, here, see, what what is happening here, in the same phase only, it is getting the data, okay? So, it is trying to read from here only. But, till here, the data is not ready, okay? So, here, from here, the data is ready. So it is accepting in the same phase. No need to go for next phase. If any delay is there from the master side, then it will read in the next phase. Next cycle. This kind of delay, this kind of delay, what it is called, man, like here data is not available. So how can we justify this delay? Uh, well, Ma'am, and one more thing. What is the difference between like phase and the uh, clock edge means? Phase and the so, clock edge. Yeah. We are analyzing the data in the phase means we are taking the whole one cycle of the clock. But yes. if we like take the edges of the clock, then uh, e e every transaction should happen at the pause edge of the clock only. Uh, then to rip uh, means read the data, it will wait for the next clock cycle to happen, right? Yeah, yes. So, F what is yes. the difference between the means phase reading and clock edge reading? Anything means advantages or? See, phase reading in the sense uh, within the uh, clock edge, it is a negative or a positive. This is one phase. It is uh, allocated for the uh, read data or the write data. Okay. So, rising edge or falling edge means it should be done at the, if it is rising edge, it should be done at the rising edge of that only. Phase in the sense, once the transaction is completed from the master side, it can access anywhere in that phase. Okay. Next, yes. pause to, here once address is completed, the master is giving the transaction in the next positive edge of the clock. And then at, at the same time, the slave is accepting the data from the next positive edge of the clock. Once master completed uh, transferring the data, then slave can uh, read the data in the same phase. In the same phase means anywhere. Anywhere, okay. Yes. So, ma'am, which base system is there only in AHB or only now? I think it is not there in AXI. Uh, AXI, we have channels, different channels, right? Uh, so, yes, there yes. we don't have the faces. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So, clear? Next one with wait states. So with wait state means whenever the ready signal is low. So if you observe here, um, H address A is uh, transferring here. 
and the data H data is transferring in the next clock cycle and at the same time B is transferring in the next next cycle so uh, H ready is low here whenever H ready is low the slave cannot accept the data okay so uh, even up to where the H ready is uh, low here H or data in the next up to here this H ready from this at the slave side H ready is low up to here so whenever H ready is high actually it should be upside then uh, you can understand easily because HR data will depend on H ready. Okay, H ready will not depend on HR data, right? So H ready is low up to here. So in the next clock cycle, the data is available. Okay, whatever A data is there, that data is available in the next cycle. Once the slave is zero, that is with weight state. Have you understood? So here also H ready is uh, uh, zero. H ready is zero means whatever address is there, it is trying to send the address. Be because of H ready is zero, uh, this address B address is not able to send in this uh, uh, phase. Okay, so it is. Uh, um, so from here in the T3, the address is sending once H ready is high. Okay, that is the wait state. Have you understood? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Next, multiple transfers. When there are multiple transfers, before we have seen only one or two transfers, right? So if there are multiple three number of transfers like that, how we, uh, how we can check? So here, H address, H address is A in first clock cycle and write. So write A. Once write A completed, then in next clock cycle, uh, here, data is write data and next while well, h address is b here read operation is happening and when c is high write operation okay so uh, right uh, here for b it is not performing write operation only read so when write is high in the next phase, that means data phase, data is writing in, uh, this is the address phase for B. And when B is uh, here, read operation, right? So read data will get the data. But still, why here it is not getting the data in the next clock cycle? Actually, here it should get the data in the next clock cycle. But because of H ready, H ready is low. That's why uh, data is not getting at HR data. So by whenever H, H ready is high, then only H or data can read the B data. Okay, so here it is high. So in this phase, data B has read. Next, write C. So for write C, uh, because of this wait state, two cycles it have taken. Um, and once completed, writing the data in the next clock cycle okay suppose here suppose here i am taking the sequence type of transfer and here non sequence transfer and, and here c is the sequence transfer and suppose here d is there d also sequence transfer then what is the uh, address it will read? Uh, what 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 is the address it the master is going to transfer for uh, uh if you take four bit four bit is 
for transfers. Have you understood the question? No, please repeat. I already told you before, uh, based upon, you know, what is meant by sequence, non-sequence, sequence, sequence uh, uh, busy and the ideal, right? I want to take four transfer, four beat, okay? Uh, before, uh, I think. Okay, see here, wrap four, increment four, wrap eight, increment eight. Okay, four beat. Okay, there is a four beat, eight beat, 16 beat. So what happens if I take four beat here? What is the sequence? What is the non-sequence? And what is the sequence? Sir? How the transfers here? Already you have seen here. So non-sequence. Addresses, different addresses. Uh, Ma'am, uh, for burst, uh, first non-sequence will be one, then only sequence will come. So, uh, I don't understand why sequence first and then non-sequence. It's okay, no problem. Uh, non-sequence also, no problem. Just tell how it will take. Uh, so, address will be incremented by plus four, plus four. Okay. Every time. Uh, here... Uh, uh, address is a plus four maybe initially it may be two zero or three zero whatever uh, okay then what is a non-sequence suppose here it, it is a three zero then here what is the address it's two zero three 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 implemented by four can you please join fastly again for next session Okay, uh, tell. So here sequence, transfer. Non-sequence, sequence and sequence. So here four beat, so four transfer. For each transfer, it will increment with four, right? So here, suppose it is a 20. Maybe here, uh, non-sequence means it may get uh, a 28, okay? Or uh, some 2C, uh, 20, 24, 28, 2C, like that, right? So non-sequence means uh, it may be somewhat Next, um, sequence is missing. It won't continue with this sequence because here non-sequence is there. Sequence is missing. So again, it will start with the uh, 2, 0, 2, 4, 2, 8, like that. Okay. So four, uh, four beat mean only four transfers will be there. Again, there will be no 2, 8 here. Okay. So we'll see more, uh, more briefly. Uh, it depends on uh, increment and wrap also. Okay, so what happens if you take increment and what happens if you take wrap? Uh, these two will be different. Okay, so up to here, are, are you clear up to here? Ma'am, um, no. Yes. Uh, so in the previous example, we discussed the first transfer was sequence, second was non-sequence, and again, mm -hmm. the third one was sequence. Right now. So mm -hmm. when the third sequence starts, will it follow the sequence from the non-sequence transfer? Or the sequence is a new no. transfer. Sequence is for new transfer because non sequence is a that, that is non sequence. Okay, sequence will, will start from starting address again. It doesn't follow non sequence. Okay. This uh, this sequence will start the first uh, uh, first address whatever uh, it have taken. With uh, if next is uh, so it is a sequence, then this sequence will follow this sequence. 
Okay, but okay. the first sequence will not follow and the it previous. It will not follow previous one. Okay. Okay. Any other answers? Uh, sorry, any other doubts? Okay. Uh, so, no. so ma'am, uh, so for burst transfer, a non sequence is not the first uh, bit that we have to give. So, uh, as per my understanding, I thought like he. Uh, First as per your understanding, uh, first non sequence only you it will come. But I just taken that example, normal example. Okay, uh, non sequence will come first only. So then a uh, second, then next next cycle sequence will follow the non sequence address, right, ma'am? No, it will not follow. Okay. Uh, the, the sequence again it starts from its uh, sequence um, um okay sorry uh, non sequence uh, it will, uh, the sequence will follow the non sequence uh, right if non sequence uh, wherever it is stop uh, the sequence will follow the before non sequence value okay, okay. Um, so uh, means we can conclude like sequence uh increments uh, according to the size which we give and the non-sequence it it takes the random addresses uh, within the size only it will take some ra random address okay okay so uh, suppose here there is a sequence and here there is a non-sequence mostly non-sequence will come first only and here sequence and here sequence suppose this sequence have some uh, two zero address and these non sequence have some 2 8 address okay because it is non sequence again here sequence is there right so this sequence will follow before one okay uh, 2 8 means next to 4 2 c next again four after four transfers whatever 2 c four transfer means up 2 c only right again 2 0 like that Okay, the sequence will follow before sequence uh, and uh, non-sequence will not follow before sequence. That is the difference, uh, Kate. Okay, ma'am. Okay. okay, clear everyone? Yeah, ma'am. Okay, next one. Next one is lock transfer. So what is mean by lock transfer? Why lock transfer is needed? H master lock. Why it is needed? Master is uh, sending some transaction to the uh, slaves and there are multiple slaves. So suppose it is sending to some particular slaves so that transaction will be logged. Okay. Uh, then uh, it it helps uh, like benefit in the prevents the data loss and the master cannot initiate other transaction until that transaction to that slave is completed but um, i think uh, if there are multiple number of masters whatever the h clock is there h lock is yeah. there uh, it will assert for the multiple master. So whenever the master is uh, uh, starting some it's trans uh, transfers, it, it have a series of transfers, right? So it should not get interrupted, okay? Whenever it is in some uh, transferring some data, uh, it should not get any interrupt, right? So then H lock signal, uh, H master lock signal indicate that uh, as an orbiter, it works like a, Orbiter. So the orbiter is will not allow to grant the bus to any other master. So whenever the master is doing some transfer, it will lock the master until it will complete all the transfers. Okay. Then once the present master completed all transfers, then it will give the bus to the next transfer. Is it correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So that is what uh, master lock. So if you see here, um, 
here some what some other definition is there if the master require locked accesses then it must also assert the h master lock signal this signal indicates to any slave that the current transfer sequence is indivisible and must therefore be processed before any other transfers are processed okay and simply we can tell like while doing the master uh, while doing some transfers it should be locked without moving without giving the bus to the other masters let's just like a orbiter okay so h uh, h trans lock here there is no trans lock okay i will draw here h master lock signal will be there here suppose this is h master lock signal um it is doing multiple number of transactions here so whenever h lock is high whenever h lock is high this master is doing some transaction okay so uh, once h lock is uh, low uh, it will go to the next transaction suppose here there is a sequence transaction okay and here sequence transaction and the next transaction is like ideal so what happens if next transaction is ideal the master is not doing any transfer here so what what it indicates what it indicates mostly for h uh, for ideal transfers only uh, we will have the master lock so what what is the intention Uh, it means the slave can send the request no? for the data. A uh, slave will not send the request uh, um, for the data, no? for read data. Uh, yeah. Um, slave, slave will not uh, send the request. Okay. Because the slave, the uh, it doesn't have uh, involvement with the H master lock because it depends on master. So whatever master transferring the data, whatever the order it is transferring, in the order the slave will receive the data. That is what slave will perform, right? So slave doesn't have involvement with this signal. Okay, just uh, just take this as an assignment. Okay, why H lock a uh, H master lock signal is used, and where we can put the ideal uh, ideal uh, in the starting or in the middle or in the ending. So, what is the relation between these two? So, just uh, go through that, and we'll see it in the tomorrow session. Okay, that uh, lock transfer. <clears throat> Have you you understood the intention of the log transfer, right? Yeah, mm. Mainly, it, it is like a, a like semaphore. How the semaphore? 
once uh, one whenever uh, one transaction is happening after the tra transaction then for next transaction we'll get the key right uh, same whenever the master is uh, doing uh, ma uh, whenever master is uh, doing some operation here it is a sequence or non sequence here sequence or non sequence ideal means master is not doing any operation it is not doing any transfer ideal so automatically the orbiter will be stopped whenever this master is ideal the uh, this bus will be given to the some other master right that is the main intention okay have you understood and you cannot perform in busy also whenever busy is high uh, the h master lock must be low is that acceptable see what is my intention means when lock is high the master is lock okay when lock is zero the master is released okay so these we have two masters master 1 and master 2 Ma for first transfer master 1 is in sequence transfer and non sequence transfer busy transfer and ideal transfer okay and there is a master 2 where the lock should be high in which case the lock should be high whenever master is doing some transfers then only lock should be high right when it is in sequence sequence means it is performing some trans transaction non sequence also master is doing some transaction busy means it is doing some transaction ideal means master is not doing any transaction it is a free okay so that this bus can given to master 2 okay so that we can release the lock no need to put lock for master 1 so this lock is zero here in the ideal case have you understood now Yeah, ma'am. So if H trans is equal to ideal, then only uh, there is no need of H trans lock is equal to one. So we have to yes. make it zero. The remaining three cases we have yes, to make it zero. Yes, because one. master is not doing any operation. Okay, so that we no need to put lock. We no need to lock that bus to that master. We can uh, access. We can give that uh, bus access to some other master. Same as semaphore. okay when some transaction is using uh, some operation is happening or uh, going on it will procure the key and it will use the key once transaction completed again it will uh, put the key in the semaphore right uh, so next person or next transaction can use that key and it will do the operation or it will perform its uh, task okay have you understood Yes. Okay. Next one is a burst operation. So burst operation in the sense uh, we have four, eight, sixteen bit bursts, um, as well as undefined length burst. Also, no need to define the length. Single length burst like that. So burst size indicates the number of bits in the burst. Okay, number of bits. Number of bits is nothing but number of transfers. Okay, so valid data transfer is equal to number of bits into data size in each bit. What is the size? It is a eight bit or sixteen bit. Okay, uh, in each bit, uh, data size is each bit indicated as a H size. We have seen right H size. Uh, Uh, sixteen bit or eight bit like that, and in burst we have incrementing, uh, incrementing burst and 
wrapping bus. What is meant by incrementing bus? It accesses the sequential locations only for sequential locations, not for non-sequential locations. Okay, it accesses for sequential locations with the address of each transfer in the bus being an increment of the previous address. Okay, so if it is a one kb boundary, based upon that boundary only, it will increment. Okay. And wrapping bus. Wrapping bus means same as incrementing bus only, but from wrapping bus, it will come from starting address. Okay, certain range. It will go to the certain range, whatever the size you have taken. Once it once it reach to the certain range, again it will start from the starting address. Okay, so that is the difference. If you take four bit. It will increment for plus four. If you take eight bit plus eight transfers, like that plus eight address. Okay, so we'll see some examples so that you can understand. So this is what burst signal encoding. So burst is a three bit, and there are different types like single, incrementing, wrap four, increment four, wrap eight, increment eight, wrap sixteen, incrementing sixteen. Okay. So, so uh, here master will perform the single transfer bus and undefined length bus. Different, uh, different things are there. So master um, uh, can take incrementing bus uh, like one kb up to one kb address boundary is there. Okay, so based upon that uh, it will. Do. So we'll see some examples. Four bit wrapping burst wrap four. So what is meant by four bit? Means what is meant by four bit? Four bit. What is for every four transactions it will round up. 4 bit is nothing but there will be 4 number of yeah. transactions. 4 okay. transfers will be there. So within the 4 transfers, it need to complete the transaction. So uh, 4 transfers, how we have to, uh, how it, it look here. First one is the non-sequence. Non-sequence means whatever within the address range, uh, it is a 0 into 3, 8. Okay. For next transfer, it is a sequence and next transfer sequence, next transfer also sequence. Okay. So here 0 into 3, 8. So what is the next address location? Plus 4, right? 4 beats means 4 transfers means plus 4. So 3, 8 plus 4 is the 3C. 3C plus 4 again starting with the 30 actually 30 to 3c okay these are the address locations uh, here so again starting from the 30 then 34 then next if there are eight number of uh, bits okay eight transfers then 38 again 3c 30 34 38 3c this is what wrap okay then what is mean by increment? Increment burst. Uh, Ma'am. Mm. So after three C, it, it should be a four zero, right? Why it is three zero? Because three because we are not crossing the address range within the range only we are taking. Three C up to three C is our address range. Okay. Okay. Uh, from three zero to three C is the address range, and but we have started with non sequence with thirty eight, so it is yes. like round. Yes. If you start with the non sequence uh, three four, then next will be the three A three C again three zero. That's what here it is getting three zero right after three C, but in the increment it is not the situation so what what is the difference what happens in the increment burst
another thing is burst size means burst size indicates the number of beats in the burst but not number of bytes which is transferred okay that that is uh, one thing you need to remember so what happens in increment you just to see the um it, uh, what we tell the uh, statement what is the difference Ma'am, increment burst burst will go on incrementing till the means particular range is given, and wrapping burst after a particular range it will again wrap to the start address again. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that's correct. So incrementing uh, what happens means whatever the given range is there. So it will increment up to there. Okay, here three C is there. Even it's three uh, C, it is not stopping. Okay, so it follows next address as a four zero. So here uh, uh, address uh, does not wrap at the sixteen byte boundary. Okay, so this is a four bit incrementing burst. Okay. So based upon that uh, values, you can check remaining all you know, right? What is the burst uh, incrementing? Burst is the incrementing. Next, what is the size word for bit? And uh, here, uh, protect and h ready and h read data. You already know those operation, right? Uh, okay. So in place of uh, tell. Uh, if uh, here h size is not word, so because it is a word, is the HR data is a 32 bit uh, register. But if uh, h size is some other thing, so h read data uh, will also be varied. Yeah, just a confusion. I have to clarify. H read data. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, so that I mean, uh, yeah, the relation between h size and h read data. H size size means uh, it it depends it it only for address not for data. Oh, okay. Data okay, is different. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what okay. yeah, I got it. So it is related to address, not data. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, got it. Okay. Uh, so my question is here four bit incrementing bus. So if I take eight bit incrementing bus, then how? What is the size H size and how addresses? What is the difference between four bit, eight bit? Uh, in four bit, there are only four number of transactions, uh, and in eight bit, we have we'll see an eight transaction. It is like one non sequence and seven sequences. Okay, then uh, in uh, um, in wrap condition, up to where it will go? I mean, uh, up to which location it will increment and in um, incrementing up to which location it will increment i think to calculate that we will have some formulas now for wrap transactions mm -hmm. okay for the 8 bit transfer means 32 byte boundary will be there, right? Up to 3C. Okay. So 8 bit wrapping burst. So if you observe here, size is a word and 
uh, first non sequence starting with the 3 4 then sequence 3 8 3 c again starting address is 2 0 2 4 2 8 2 c 3 0 same as previous and incrementing incrementing also same uh, once uh, here whenever it reach for last address 3c again it is starting from 20 but in increment it it doesn't like that right uh, it will go on incrementing up to where it will increment Till it completes the eight transactions, it will open. Hmm. So eight bit mean eight transactions up to eight transfers, eight transactions. it will in increment. So sixteen byte address. Okay. So you need to work. Okay, why these type of transactions? Some more you need to work on these. Okay. Uh, like how these addresses are taken from where to where how much byte for each uh, um like uh, for 8 bit how much bytes and for 4 bit what is the starting byte address and ending address okay <clears throat> uh, i already share you the material right just go through that you will get more clarity okay next example for undefined length here we are not defining any length burst uh, whether increment 8 or increment 4 like that just uh, here some address we have taken so non sequence started with the 2 0 then sequence is 2 2 means only 2 bit difference 2 bit difference means half word next again non sequence non sequence means it just uh, like random address has allocated right so 5c next word incrementing is word so 60 okay just uh, go through the specification understand more detailly these are the different type of trans transfers we have we do have some more transfers like weight transfers okay uh, and some of the topics uh, tomorrow um tomorrow we'll take tomorrow there is a discussion right so we'll see the timings okay so tomorrow session we'll discuss uh, the slave error response the split transactions uh, why we'll get the split transaction in ahb light ahb light will ha have only one master multiple slaves right um so what is mean by split transaction and next, uh, OK response uh, for slave response, OK error, retry, split responses. Next, arbitration concept and request bus access and data bus owning and bus handover. These are different concepts are there and multiple uh, split transactions. So once these all uh, were all completed, we'll move to the APB and AHB. OK. So just practice, uh, okay? Otherwise, um, you, you will forget the things, okay? Clear any doubts? Yeah, till now it is clear, ma'am. Okay. If, while practicing, any doubts will be there? Yes, yes. Ask you tomorrow. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Okay, thank then you. thank you. Okay.